The first person I'd like to bring up is uh, Mike Hummer. Homer? Homer. H O M N E R. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Please uh, introduce yourself and who you represent. Hi, I'm Mike Hummer. I represent Boulder Rights Watch. I wish I didn't have to represent Boulder Rights Watch. I wish we didn't have to have anything uh, overlook what's happening in our uh, community. Um, I'm going to let the experts tell you, and you'll be able to question them at more depth than I can ever do. But one of the first things I'd like to bring up is we just heard testimony about an HOA. I bet everybody in here that's homeless would love to have that problem of an HOA issue. I can tell you that I was a successful businessman before I went homeless, and I was homeless for five years. I owned an insurance agency. I worked for Fortune 50 companies. But I went homeless, and I was stuck on the streets for five years. I was in the right place at the right time with the right person to get housing. I can tell you that, at least in Boulder, we don't get the move along. We get kicked and said, what are you doing? And if you say sleeping, you've already confessed to your so-called crime and a camping ticket's written, or a trespassing, or both. And that follows you. It follows you when you go and try to get housing, when they look at your record. All these things add up to make it harder for a homeless person to get off the street. Most people are just one paycheck away from getting there. I do a side thing that's a national project where we take pictures of homeless people and write stories about them. I vetted out people that had worked previously for NASA, for Enron. People's, people with PhDs, people with published books that are in the Library of Congress. They're just like you and me. Everybody has a face, has a story, but yet they're being criminalized for being on the street. I don't know if you can ever understand the stress, the issues that you have to deal with, having your stuff taken away. I was lucky, it didn't happen to me, but I know a lot of people that had their backpacks disappear. That's their house on their back. They have their birth certificate in there. They have ID in there. Do you know how hard it is to try to recoup that? You folks are sitting here, you can change lives by a single vote. And I beg you to. Thank you very much for being respectful of your time and your testimony today. Members, questions?